no one is born successful. I was looking at world number one Magnus Carlsen's games on my database, and out of curiosity I decided to check what was the first game he ever played uh, that was recorded on, on the database. I like emphasizing to new players that no one is incredible at chess when they start. So check, check this game out. With the white pieces we have Magnus Carlsen, and with the black pieces, we have Stefan Randjilovic. Please let me know if I pronounce that right in the comments. And I can't remove this. There we go. And this game was played in 1999, July 1999. This means Magnus was very young. And, well, let's, let's, let's analyze this game. Let's see how Magnus started playing chess. First game ever recorded in my database. So d4 opened up by, by Magnus, the, the queen spawn opening. e5 already moved one black surprised uh, surprised white with this e5 England gambit stuff. D takes e5 was played by Magnus, knight c6. Stefan is saying, well, okay, I lost a pawn, but I'm going to get some activity in exchange. Bishop f4, Magnus decides to defend the pawn. Now, if you take this, of course, you're losing it. So black decided to take to attack it one more time. Uh, Magnus said, well, okay, I'm, I'm going to trade this. Now, after this, I'm up a pawn. The problem for Magnus is that this bishop and this pawn are both attacked by the queen. So, you have to do something about that. Probably you have to play something like queen c1, defending twice. Or, sorry, both of them uh, at the same time. But Magnus played queen d2, blund blundering this, queen takes b2. And now, it's not only that you lost a pawn, but also your rook is attacked. So, Magnus went for queen e3 check. Um, if you go queen c3, this is... A very common trap so already here magnus is in a tough position queen e3 played this is the the a try uh magnus tried knight g7 defending the check and now queen c3 is actually um a, a good idea but magnus played bishop e5 which is a terrible move respectfully because this knight and this queen are both attacking that p that, that square so for example black can take this and then your rook is still hanging but stefan instead decided to go for 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 a pawn on c2 and uh, now, yeah, things are, are complicated again. So uh, Magnus decided to go pawn grabbing as well. This is something many people do at the beginning of their chess journey, which is pawn grabbing, pawn grabbing. Um, they should have tried to develop a little bit, but okay. Bishop takes 7 was played by Magnus. Black decided to go for an adventure with the knight, knight b4. Uh, knight c3 played by Magnus, very good understanding. Trying to get their pieces closer to the center rather than far further away. Knight e6 played suspicious move, but it is attacking a bishop, which is very interesting to do, or or the way you play chess when you're starting, as, as I already pointed out. Rook c1 played by Magnus attacking the queen. Queen b2, uh, black did manage to see that the queen was attacked. And queen e5, which is essentially the losing blunder in this game, because Magnus forgot that this queen was defending this rook. And uh, the intention of queen e5 is pretty good, defending the, the, the bishop on c7. You have to defend the bishop by moving it away or something like that. Okay, queen e5 played by Magnus, blundering the rook. Uh, black managed to spot that. And after knight d1, which is miraculously the, the only move that <laughs> saves the game, you can't you can't move the king. So knight d1, only move. Find bound Magnus. Magnus even loses more material. And here the game uh, goes a little bit on... Uh, queen g5 was played by Magnus, not the best practical try, when you're losing in material you don't want to trade pieces, uh, even more the queen, because the queen is a powerful and, and, and an annoying piece, but after queen g5 I guess Magnus was hoping for for their opponent to not see that the queen was uh, on c1, but the opponent did see that the queen could take, and after this, a couple more moves, uh, black, maybe the conversion was a little bit suspicious, but essentially black managed to, to convert, white lost a little bit more material, and eventually... Magnus got checkmated like this. What's the moral of the story? Well, as I said at the beginning, chess can be discouraging a, a, a little bit, but everyone kind of struggles at the beginning, and it's not only with chess, it's with everything. And I know that this sounds very cheesy, but I guess this is your daily motivational chess video, to which I'm pretty happy to host. Um, you, you're gonna... You're gonna struggle and and you're gonna be bad at anything you start doing at the beginning because that's that's the way you are like you just don't know anything so you have to go through through all this unpleasantness like losing games in this fashion like i mean look at that i mean you blunder your rook like this and you're gonna it's gonna happen it's gonna happen continue happening and um and it's fine because it's it's you're you're trying things out and at least you're getting out of your comfort zone what i'm trying to say is that um yeah, just keep keep going. Uh, you, 
you, you can become good if, if Magnus did it. Uh, I know that there are many things that play into account. Money, uh, support, time. All of these things do play an important role. But something important in chess as well, and you can't deny it, is um, how passionate you are for, for finding ideas in the board. And how, how, how you enjoy the game and, and the strategy behind it. So I guess this is, once again, a motivational kind of video. Um, I think you should Im you, you could improve and you, you can become better. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, if you have any comments on this, uh, please let me know. And as always, have a nice day.